Welcome back. I'm excited to show you today how to use the new Lavelli Breeze Dehydrator to turn these fresh mangoes into an awesome fruity snack. Before we get started, if you'd like to see more of these recipes or other ways to use your Lavelli appliances at home, then go ahead and hit subscribe now. Otherwise, let's get into it. Now dehydrating is pretty simple. The good thing about this machine is that you can control the time and temperature settings and simply walk away. Today, we're going to slice up four mangoes, which is going to take up four of these trays. And the good thing about this is, is that you can stack it up to nine trays. We're also going to show you how to use the silicon sheets, which you can purchase as an extra. And they're really good for fruit and veg that hold a little bit more moisture or for smaller things like berries and herbs. So when we're dehydrating, we wanna make sure that we can get a really nice consistent outcome. You don't want it too thick, and if you slice it too thin, then it comes out a bit too brittle. But the good thing is, is that you can experiment and do it how you like. I'm going to start preparing my mangoes now, and the way I like to do this is to take off both of the cheeks, get a big spoon, and scoop out the flesh. We can then slice it to five millimeters thick and lay them straight on the tray. our first mango done and I'm now going to show you how to load it up onto the silicon mat it's really simple we're just going to leave enough space in between so that they dehydrate evenly I'm going to prepare the rest of the mangoes now and load up all of these trays after that all we need to do is punch in our time and temperature settings and let it do its thing If you don't have the silicon mats just yet, then you can do this on the stainless steel trays and I'll show you how to do that and what they look like when you peel them off. All our mangoes are sliced up now and our trays are full, so all we do now is put the lid back on and punch in our time and temperature settings. These ones are going to take anywhere between 8 and 12 hours. So we'll lock in 8 and then we'll come and check. If they're not quite done yet, then we'll put it on for a little bit longer. So we just turn the machine on now. Leave it at 50 degrees, and we're going to set the time for eight hours. So these ones are all done drying now. They've taken around 12 hours, and we can have a look now. I'll show you first how to peel them off the stainless steel tray. They should come off pretty easily. So you want them to come off just like this, really nice and pliable, which gives them that super nice and chewy texture. All the moisture has come out, which is a really good sign. Now I'll show you how easy it is to get them off the silicon mats. So these silicon mats are perfect for the fruits that hold a little bit more moisture or sweetness. See how easy it is to get these fruits off. So I've got two more trays of these to go and I'm just putting them into an airtight container just like this one and they'll keep for several months. You can also vac seal these for longer term storage. So here we have our dried mangoes, perfect snack for you and the family. Grab them while they're cheap and in season and enjoy mangoes all year round. That's all from us for this week. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, hit subscribe now and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. We'd also love to see all the different ways that you're using your dehydrator at home. So let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we're gonna see you again next week for another recipe.